So let's be honest, if you're looking to buy a new wireless router, it can be a bit confusing. All the numbers, terminology, the specs, for most people, it goes way over their head. What most people want is to plug that router in and have everything work. So in order not to waste your money or time, you need to know what these specs and features mean. And today, we're gonna give you all that information for free. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and enjoy. What's up guys, I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So guys, today we're gonna go over five important features or specifications of any wireless router. We're gonna go over antennas, frequency channels, speed, wireless standards, and lastly, security. While we know there's way more than five features in a wireless router, obviously, <laughs> in order to keep this video from being 20 or 30 minutes, we're giving you five features that we know are the most important features of any wireless router. So first, let's talk about antennas. One antenna, two, three, four, eight, 30. Does it really matter? Well, yes and no. While having more antennas on your router should correlate to having better signal coverage and speed, multiple antennas create multiple streams for sharing data over radio channels, which brings more bandwidth to your devices. However, having more external antennas is not always that important. What's more important is the software that drives those antennas. When buying a wireless router, try not to think in terms of antennas, but more about added functionality. Specs like MIMO and MU-MIMO increase the router's capacity to transmit and receive data, which in turn makes your network faster. Now, number two, frequency channels. So when you've gone to buy a wireless router, you may have seen on the box single, dual, or tri-band. And this refers to the frequency channels on the router. So obviously a single channel is one frequency, dual is two, and tri is three. And when it comes to frequency channels, more is better. For instance, a single band router only operates on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, while a tri-band router operates on three bands, the 2.4, the 5.0, and the 5.8. While tri-band is better than dual band, dual band only has two channels, the 2.4 and the 5.0, but even with tri-band, you only see a minimal difference in performance. So it may be tempting to upgrade your old router to a new one, but don't be fooled, you won't see a huge difference in performance and speed. However, as technology improves, tri-band routers will become much faster. All right guys, number three, wireless standards. There have been many wireless standards over the last 10 years, but today the newest wireless standard is Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax. Going into 2022, Wi-Fi 6 is the standard. If your router is a couple years old, you do not have Wi-Fi 6. You have Wi-Fi 5, and your standard could be 802.11n or 802.11ac, there's many different standards. All right guys, number four, speed. And why does speed matter? Because more speed is more better. And routers have all sorts of speeds, from 50 megabits a second to 1900 megabits a second. And in theory, the higher the number, the faster the speed. But once again, that's not 100% true. When comparing routers, you'll see numbers like AC1200 to AC3200. And AC refers to the wireless standard. And the number refers to the speed. So for example, if your router gets a maximum of 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 channel and 1300 megabits a second on the 5.0 channel, this would be considered AC1750 because you're adding those two numbers together. So once again, how do you choose a router for speed? Well, it's important to know that the speed that's advertised in the box or the label is the theoretical maximum. And the actual speed you'll get on your router is first of all determined by your ISP's max speed, which you can never go faster than. And the last thing I want to talk about is security and why that matters. Because wireless router security is the most important thing you can have on your network. Without security, your network is susceptible to attacks. Now, any wireless router you buy in 2022 will have WPA3 security. For instance, if you buy something like this, it will have WPA3 security already in it. And when you go to buy a new router, rest assured that router will have WPA3 security. But also understand, WPA3 can be hacked. The most important thing you can do is make sure your firmware is up to date. Matter of fact, you want to enable automatic updates. Also, once a month, change your password. And make sure that password is 16 characters long. Make it a phrase. I love watching Ultimate Tech Hub videos. That'll do. But once again, security is very important and the newest routers have the best security. And once again, when you're buying a router, I'm going to show you really quick on here how to read all this stuff. Now, this router is a mesh Wi-Fi system that can handle five rooms 
4.2 gigabits per second. The numbers here, AX4200. AX stands for the 802.11 AX standard. The numbers after that, 4200, are the combined speed of all the bands. And by the way, Netgear does make some great mesh Wi-Fi products. I recommend them. So it's very important when you're buying a wireless router is to be able to read the box and know what all the numbers mean. So now after watching this video, you should be able to buy a router with full confidence. Once again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I love you all. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. If you loved it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.